Assalamualaikum alaikum Wahasid Elohim Anna Rahmail Ibn Fulani Today we will be reading Genesis 9 and 3 Or Bereshit 9 and 3 Okay, let's begin Kol Remesh Asher Hu Hai Lakem Gihye Le Akla Kajarek Aisir Natati Lakem Et Kol Ek basar but benef sho the more lo takel nu. Okay, first things first, you have kal remis. Um, that's a verb called third masculine singular active participle. Um, so the root would be move, which is remis resh mim sin. Um, since it's an active participle, that would be uh, equivalent to the application of the ing suffix in English, so it will be move in. Um, the biconsonantal root kaf lam, which is kal, that, that is a noun masculine, it means all. Okay, so uh, a correct rendering would be um, all moving okay all moving all right so now you have um, let's see uh, you have a share who hail him all right so um, a share that is an article of Relation. I forgot to type it there, but um, it's pretty simple. Article of relativity. It just means which, like W H I C H, which. All right, or that. So anything in relation to. Okay. Um, <clears throat> you got a uh, who hey, who hey. Third masculine singular independent personal pronoun. He him. Then you got a uh, hey, which is the root word that it's an adjective, it means life. Then you got lakem, which is an inseparable preposition, lam, to, for, or in regards to, attached to a second masculine plural pronominal suffix, kaf, mem, you, or y'all. All right. <clears throat> All right, so now you have um Yehiel Akla Keyerek or Keyerek. So uh Yehye will be a verb called third masculine singular imperfect prefix conjugated prefix conjugation is uh, attached to it. Um, it would be a yo that would mean that would be third masculine singular he it that the root would be haya to be or to exist all right next word would be la akla which would be an inseparable preposition lam attached to that on the prefix meaning to for or in regards to the root would be aleph kaf lam verb means to eat uh, but in this context, it's a feminine noun. Morphologically, what you see, and phonologically, what you hear. Since it is akla, it has a feminine uh, addition on there, uh, which will make it a feminine noun. <clears throat> but yeah, that's how that one will grow. Then you have uh, Kayarek. So ke ke, which is the kaf, that will be another. Um, I actually forgot to type that as well, but it's not a big deal. I can still tell it to you. Um, the inseparable preposition kaf that would mean like or as. All right, like or as. The root, the root word would be yerek, yerek. That would mean greenery. Haha, it's interesting, ain't it? <laughs> All right, so <clears throat> in order to finish out these claws, 
Um, you have another noun right here, which would be uh, Isis. Uh, that would be like vegetation. Um, I believe it's a masculine noun. Um, then the next word would be uh, Natati. Natati. That is a verb called third. That's a verb called first masculine. No, a first common singular perfect. Okay, that means it happened already. You can tell that because it's all A class vowels. Alright, so the hitic yo suffix at the end of the word. That would be a suff that would be a first common singular suffix conjugation. It means I. Alright, the root word would be nun tau nun. Which would be to give. Uh, since it's a perfect, it would be gave. So I gave. Alright. You got the preposition again attached to the suffix, the cam. Alright, preposition two for in regard to, which is lam. The kaf mem, that's the second masculine plural, you or y'all. Then you have it called, okay? It is the article of accusative, or it could be with. Alright. Then you have the root, which is cold, again, which is now masculine. It means all. All right. Cool. So now we have, um, we have ah, basar, benefshu. All right. So ah, that is a, um, that's an adverb it means but okay sometimes it means surely just depends on the context but in this context we mean but all right basar uh the root would be basar or bit sin reish it means animal flesh all right it is a masculine noun all right it has to be in relation to the verbs and the other nouns. But anyway, <clears throat> one of the main words here would be benefshul. All right. That is the one with the bet in simple preposition, bet, in, at, by, with, or according to. <clears throat> and it also has a third masculine singular possessive woe pronominal suffix he or yeah that is a pronominal suffix because it's showing ownership he him his or its all right the root would be in the fish all right means psyche being life soul inner being all right pretty interesting all right last but not least you have the molo uh, all right so um i didn't i i thought i did type it but i guess i made a messed it up but uh anyway the first construct of this segment will be dal mem wo all right um the actual root word which means the actual true word of that first construct will be dal mem which is dam it means blood okay it means literally blood or genetic material. Blood or genetic material, DNA, plasma, anything has anything to do with the blood. Okay. So, since it has a third masculine singular possessive pronominal suffix, wo, that would mean his or its blood his or its blood showing ownership to it or his all right so now you have the last verb uh being conjugated with a second masculine plural uh, imperfect conjugation so that will make the verb uh a call passive active second masculine plural um uh, imperfect verb Alright. You and it has a um, negative particle 
low, low, negative particle, low, all right, so that means you will not eat, matter of fact, hmm, like a uh, looks Kalre Mesa Ser who hail a chem Yichel Akla Kayerek I said Natati Lakem it call Ak Basar Benefsho the Molo to Okelu. So looks like the render is going to be. All life which moves to y'all, it will be food to eat. Like greenery of vegetation, I gave it all for y'all. But animal meat with genetic with genetic material of its soul, you will not eat. Alright. All life which moves to y'all, it will be food to eat. Like greenery of vegetation, I gave it all for y'all. But animal meat with genetic material of its soul y'all will not eat so that wraps it up guys uh, get with me uh, if you're trying to get you know get some biblical Hebrew uh, sessions in you want to sign up send me an email to language.rugs at gmail.com Shalom Aleikum